I can't believe we made it to today. So many people have helped us become who we are. Most importantly, our parents have helped us navigate life, and now we get to help each other. Our siblings have been there to support us and be a friend to us, and now we get to support and be a friend to each other. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I would have the honor of marrying someone like you. Since our first date at Olive Garden, you've shown me what a kind, steadfast, and thoughtful man you are. Caroline Elizabeth Burning. I love you more th than words can express. Opposites attract. I'm not organized, and you are. I am at times a little overly relaxed, and you keep me in the kindest way, not as relaxed. not as relaxed. There's so many things about it. Love about you. The way you encourage others, show patience and gratitude, the way you're gentle and you always find a silver lining. And of course, you always help on a vibe. While I love those things and many others about you, my two favorite are how you treat me and how you love Jesus. I know the way you care for me and love me is a direct result of your acknowledgement of Christ's love for you. And it's an answered prayer to be marrying you. You're gentle when I am not, patient when I am not, calm when I'm anxious and always ready to listen and help when you can. I cannot thank you enough for loving me. I love you more than I've ever loved anyone else and my love for you grows, only grows each day. I cannot wait to be married, have babies with you one day, and do all the good and hard things with you until Jesus calls us home. You're the best friend, teammate, and love I've ever known. I cannot wait to call you my husband and to be your wife. thank you and honor you today. There are some specific things I want to promise. I promise to show you honor and respect and to apologize and course correct when I don't. I promise to be open to kind criticism because I know it's coming from a kind heart. I promise to keep Christ at the center of our marriage and take our joys and sorrows to him first. I know that I will not always make good on these promises, but I know that with the help of Jesus, I will do my best to make good on these for the rest of my days. No one on planet earth gets me more loves me more. No one puts up with my shenanigans better th than you. My parents and I have always prayed for my wife and here you are. You're the only person that I want to argue with, cry with, laugh with, and grow old with. You look gorgeous, love you sweet. I promise to listen more than I speak and to not always try to fix the problem. I promise to serve you and our future family by taking care of our home and helping to steward our things well. I promise to be a helper to you and lend a hand when I'm needed. Help you to be strong and steady in your faith by praying with you and for you. I promise to walk alongside you when you need it and help carry burdens that are too heavy to carry on your own. I know that life will bring its share of good and difficult times, but I know together we'll be able to navigate them.
I wanna make you a promise I've been thinking for a while It's my joy and honor to do it with you. And it wouldn't be us if I was 100% serious the whole time. One of my favorite things is we have fun just being together. So I promise to keep cooking if you'll keep doing the dishes. I promise to watch The Office with you as we fall asleep each night and of course skipping the last season with Jim and Pam. Promise to treat Joey like the spoiled little baby he is and attempt to make him sleep in his own bed. And I promise to always try to have as much fun as you and hop on a vibe more as each day passes. I do really love you. I do. Oh, yes, I do. I do really love you. And I do. Oh, yes, I do. I do really love you. Oh, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I do really love you. I'm with